Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? Big P here, you know don't you, you know. That's why, that's why you tuned in innit? That's why, that's why you've tuned in. So, the Franco fight against Maloney on Bob Arum's show. They started using that VAR, aren't they? What's all that about? What is all that about? Eh? I don't get that, mate. Does anybody get that? 30 minutes to make a decision on that. Eh? They were only fighting an handful of minutes, weren't they? How could they come to that conclusion? Is the Nevada, Nevada State Athletic Commission, is it bent or incompetent? Corrupt or incompetent? I don't know. I'd say both. I see Adelaide Bird were working that weekend as well, weren't she? They were going to get rid of her, weren't they, the other week? It's the same old people with their noses in the trough and we're going around in circles. If it's not Robert Smith, Terry O'Connor and all the rest of them at Boxing Border Control, it's, it's the Nevada State Athletic Commission, isn't it? It's been going on for years over there. Um, when Oscar De La Roy's coming out, and he's part of the winner, the, the guy who got his hand raised, or the guy who had the lucky result, Franco. When he's coming out, and, he, and he's, he's going for a guy that's been ripped off, there's a problem, isn't there? There's a problem with the sport of boxing. And if this happened in football, or... Well, it did happen in football with Everton Liverpool, didn't it? With offside and with uh, the assault on Dyke by Pickford, Van Dyke. But if this happened in football at regular, the stuff that happens in boxing or cricket or any other sport, there'd be riots in the streets, wouldn't there? So why do we allow it to happen in boxing? Why does them why do them people get a pass again, Nevada State Athletic Commission? I mean it's Nevada, it's Vegas, it's it's built on corruption. Do you, do you know what I mean? It's uh it's just a nail another nail in in, in coffin for boxing, isn't it? They keep putting nails in in this coffin of, of boxing but you know it's you know it's very hard for me to find something positive at the moment with boxing it's just I look at all the negative stuff and I look at the stuff that cheeses me off and that it's that's a shocker that it's on it's it's more shocking than the Terry O'Connor one isn't it really because they've had 30 minutes to look at it all these heads looking at it and you've got Bob Arum and all ESP and people all around the VAR thing and everybody's putting the spoke in and, and no doubt they're influencing people and it's shocking it's like if you go on Google you look at the Barry Hearn versus Steve Collin court transcripts it's on Google go read them that's another one that tips me over edge but luckily you know Steve Collins won that case and quite rightly so after what went on and that's swept away in it it's like Bob Arum he got done for corruption and paying backhanders, didn't he? In the 80s and Frederick Kushner, they were paying IBF, weren't they? Nobody's saying a word, are they? They're still they're still allowed to promote. I don't know about Kushner, I think he might have died, sadly. But Bob Arum's still hanging around sporting you like a bad smell. Do you know what I mean? Winds me up to fucking death. Winds me up. That fight, I mean, when you've got Ellen Mirren putting it putting some on on social media there's a problem isn't there i mean what does she know about boxing but she knows what she saw and i know what i saw but what what will happen nothing's gonna happen is it it'll all be forgot about next week when there's more boxing on something needs to be done it, all this kind of stuff is a disease and big pork is the cure all right don't have nightmares peace out